Hi, this is Shekhar Srinivasan and welcome to my channel. In the last video, I have explained what is Flutter and what are the advantages in using Flutter. And in this video, we shall understand how to install Flutter and get started with developing the first app using the Flutter. Before I start with the video, if you haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe and click on the bell icon for the notifications of the latest updates of my videos. Now, in this video, we shall understand how to configure Flutter with the Android Studio and also with the Visual Studio code in Mac system. And remember one important point, the configuration steps will remain same for the Windows and Linux systems. In order to install the Flutter, open the flutter.dev URL at the browser and scroll down, you will find the get started button. Click on that button. You can observe the various platforms such as Windows, Mac OS and Linux. Click on the relevant operating system icons. Since I'm using Mac, let me click on the Mac OS. Then you will be navigated to the page where we can see the instructions for installing Flutter in Mac Scroll down a bit, you will find the download link for the Flutter SDK. Click on the link to download the Flutter SDK. And once done, then extract the zip file. To save the time, I have done that. So let me flip to my downloads folder. You can find the .zip file and also the extracted Flutter folder. Now, the next step we need to perform is to open the Android Studio. So let me open the Spotlight search and type in Studio and let us select Android Studio. We can observe the welcome screen of Android Studio and also we can observe there is no option for the Flutter project because currently Android Studio is not configured for Flutter development. So let us configure Android Studio. We need to perform three steps. First, we need to provide the support for the dark language. And then second step is to provide the support for the Flutter application development. And the third step is to specify the location of the Flutter SDK while developing the Flutter application. Let us click on the configure drop down and select the plugins option and under the marketplace type in Dart by JetBrims and click on the install button. We know that Dart is the language to be used for developing the Flutter applications. This step requires a restart of the Android Studio. But let us do that after enabling the support for Flutter. After the Dart plugin is installed, now let us type in Flutter and select Flutter by Flutter.io and click on the install button. Once the Flutter plugin is installed, now let us restart the Android Studio. So let me click on the restart IDE. And once again, click on the restart button. Now we can observe the Android Studio is getting restarted. Once the Android Studio is restarted, we can observe a new option to start new Flutter project. So let me click on start a new Flutter project. We can observe different types of Flutter project. Let us select Flutter application and then click on next button. Now in this screen, we need to specify the Flutter project name and the project location. And also we can provide the description for the project. But the important point we need to observe is that the message which states Flutter SDK path is not given. So let us provide all the required details. First, let me update the project name as Flutter underscore first underscore app. And then we need to specify the location where the Flutter SDK is present. If you remember, we have already downloaded the Flutter SDK and also extracted the file, right? Now let me click on the Eclipse button and select the Flutter SDK extracted folder from the downloads and click on the open button. Now you can observe the error message which was stating Flutter SDK path is not given, has been resolved and removed. Now let us specify the project location where the Flutter application has to be created. So let me type in a new folder with the name new Flutter demos. 
and if you want you can type in some description relevant to the project for this application let me leave the default description itself and then click on next button now we need to specify the package name i'm leaving the default values as it is and let us click on the finish button to create the new flutter application now we can observe the flutter application has been created let us verify if everything is configured properly or not so to do that let me open the flutter device selection drop down and we need to start the simulator or the emulator first so let me open the ios simulator once the simulator is started then we can click on run button to execute the application so let us click on the run button remember one important point for the first time the execution might take some time to project the result next time onwards the execution will be very fast we can observe the default sample application provided by the flutter and let me click on the fab plus button we can observe the number value is changing it means that we are now ready to develop flutter applications using android studio if you are using android studio in windows system then also the steps remains the same once we have understood how to configure flutter with android studio let us now understand how to configure flutter with visual studio code also let me open the spotlight search and let me type in studio and let me select the visual studio code by default visual studio code will not have a support for the flutter application development so let us configure the visual studio code to do that let me click on the extensions icon and let us first add the support for the dart language so let me type in dart and then let me click on the install button and then let me type in flutter and click on install to install the flutter extensions to the visual studio code once the extensions are installed now let me restart the visual studio code now to verify the configuration settings let me open the command palette to do that we can press shift plus command plus p and then select flutter colon run flutter doctor if the configuration details are set then you will get some details displayed on your output console like this else it will prompt the user to select the flutter sdk location then you need to select the flutter sdk extracted folder name and once again open the command palette and select flutter colon run flutter doctor you should get some details on the output console like this which means that flutter is configured properly with the visual studio code next let us create a flutter application to test so let us open the command palette and select flutter colon new project and let us specify the name for the project so let me type in my underscore first underscore flutter underscore app once we specify the project name we will be prompted to select the location where the flutter project to be created so let me select the new flutter demos folder and click on select a folder to create the project in button we can observe a new flutter application is getting created once the application got created now let us observe whether the flutter is configured properly or not with visual studio code to do that click on the debug icon we can observe the options to be executed so let me click on run and debug dart and flutter button once you have performed the above step then the application will be compiled and processed and we can observe the result is displayed successfully let me click on the floating action button we can observe the values are changing which also means that our flutter is configured successfully with the visual studio code hope you have enjoyed this video as much as i enjoyed in preparing this video if you haven't subscribed my channel please do subscribe and click on the bell icon for the latest updates of my videos and if you like this video please click on like share and comment
This encourages me to create more videos. Happy programming, your Shaker.